Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here, back with another Pokeballers second region video. What's going on? It's episode 31. We already beat the Elite Four. What else is there to do? Guys, today we are doing the Red Challenge. So as you guys know, when you beat uh, the original Pokemon Gold and Silver games, and then you go back to Kanto, but we already did that in region one, and then you uh, come back and then you take on Red. So this is what we're gonna be doing and with this, we'll be also officially launching the Red Challenge, which you guys can participate if you guys have your own Elite Four badge, which I has in my hand. Uh, then you guys can go ahead and challenge it as well. It's sort of like a podium system, like how the champion's meant to work, in that uh, whoever beats Red becomes Red and holds their title. And there's all these rules in place, but we'll go after that after, of course. But uh, yeah, let's get right to it. But before I do that, I would like to apologize that Kanto was not able to be launched uh, this weekend. Had to wait for the uh, 3.02, which is coming out very soon with a couple trainer fixes. So that's going to be awesome, guys. And uh, just to let you guys know that we are doing a very, very belated uh, legendary weekend right now, guys. So you guys can uh, pick yourselves up some Groudons and Kyogres and Mews and Rayquazas. But I also want to note, guys, that... Um, in my legendary spawning video, I missed some keynotes on how to get your guys um, get yourselves some legendaries. Now, guys, Groudon apparently only spawns in the desert in the day, and Kyogre only spawns in the ocean at night. So there's just some key key tips for you guys and Rayquaza's uh, dusk in the plains. So yeah, just keep that uh, in your head when you're trying to look for some legendaries. One in four five, one in four thousand five hundred chance. And uh, yeah, so let's get right to the red battle. Alright guys, this is it, the final battle. Okay, in front of you lies a mysterious trainer in a red cap. He doesn't have a red cap. Uh, something tells you he's been waiting here for you. This is the final battle, good luck. Alright, so we have Nova up the top there, we have Bird creeping around the corner. Yes, I do see you, Bird. But uh, if you lose, you have to wait five days or until a new red is appointed. Please no whining, good luck. So guys, on a complete side note, look at the new blocks. These blocks are in the new Pixelmon 3.0 mod. We have Red in Unknown, which I think is a really cool, nice little addition to the mod. They're secret right now. You can only um, access them via the creative menu. But uh, anyways, let's get right into it. Mr. Bladehell, I is ready. Please tell me he does dot, 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 just like Red does. He didn't do it. Damn it, damn it, Blade. G good luck. Red doesn't say good luck. Damn it, Red doesn't say good luck. He says dot dot dot. <laughs> Screw it, let's go with it. The Red Battle, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's get this started. And he's done the dot dot dot, that's good enough for me. Okay, so Machamp on my side, we are fighting for this place. Now he has the Red Team exactly from Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal. Um, with the Espeon, not the uh, Lapras, if you guys didn't know, in Lapras. I'm uh, sorry, in Lapras. In Hot, Hot Gold, Soul Silver, um, he has a Lapras. In the originals, he has a, um, a, a Espeon. So he has an Espeon out today. And there he is. Hey, Espeon, you're ready to wreck me? I know you are. Um, I don't think I actually have choice items on, which is a really big oversight on my half. I'm just glad I got Snorlax out there with that cross chop. I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit of a... A little bit of a gypsy there and try to pick my own Pokemon to uh, take a little bit of an advantage. I really should have swapped there because he's going to run in first with speed and bang, that was just stupid. Alright, uh, let's see here. We need to do a crunch would go really well. Alright, let's switch to Feraligator, try and get a crunch out. That's probably our best case here. He's actually, I know, oh no, I am wearing choice items because it restricted my thing to only cross chop. Alright, let's switch to just turn to crunch. I think that would one bang him. He's more of a physical attack on my Feraligator. Crunch, super effective. Oh, that Grass Knot, though. Okay, come on, hit him back with a Crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunchity crunch. And yes, nice work, Feraligator. Nice work. All right, so Pikachu. Oh, boy. He's not evolved, so he probably isn't the fastest Pikachu you've ever seen. I feel like doing an old switcheroo and switching to Raichu. I'm going to show you what an evolved Pikachu and why it is better. He's going to hit me with like a thunder attack. It's not going to do much damage because of the same type and all that jazz. But uh, let's see who's better, Raichu or Pikachu, the real battle. See, I'm I'm a red 2.0 because I'm actually not a stupid person and evolved my Pikachu. And my Pikachu knows Focus Blast. Don't you, buddy? Yeah, boy, come on. Hit that Pikachu, show him who's the best rat in the place right now. It's a mouse, rat, same thing. I don't know if rats are rat or this is a mouse. Alright, show him who's the best mouse on this item. Yeah, boy! 
One banged focus blast. That's my little Raichu right there. Faster as well, just not gonna brag about it because I'm gonna get first hit, so it's sort of better than this. Year. But uh, all right, he sent out Venusaur. So he, as far as my knowledge, he's got three Pokemon left. I have four complete Pokemon. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a Thunder. Try and get a Paralyze in it, I guess, is my best shot here. Um, so let's go with the Thunder. Oh, yeah, that wasn't good at all. I probably should have stuck with Focus Blast. And he's going to go with a... Earthquake. Oh, I did not see that coming. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to switch to Flygon. Flygon, buddy. I want you to execute a Earthquake for me. That would be awesome if you could do that, because that would take him out for the count unless he's faster but Venusaur is pretty slow so I expect first hit here I uh, you know it'd be cool if I hit his Venusaur off the mountain like Sparta kick style um, that would be pretty cool flying on if I could get one of them I like to order that one um, just a nice little earthquake that just goes bang and it's just, it, sorry not not, not, a, not a Sparta kick more like a Fusrus Star oh yes Fusrus Star he's off nice work flag on he actually red by him but I wanted the Fusrus Star and we got it and he's storing energy. Oh, QQ. He's storing energy, but he's not gonna get it executed. No, he's not. No, he's not. Because Flygon's gonna come in with the Sparta Kick Aerial Ace and just take it out. Now he's on the battlefield, ready to see whatever he throws at him. Blastoise is now out. Um, so I think we're actually, actually, Flygon is not banned because we can use Aerial Ace and all that jazz. So, what should we use on this dude? Let's hit him with a. Um, let's hit him with a, an Earthquake, try and get some stabs in there, I guess. Um, so he's got two Pokemon, I've got four. We're pretty up at this point. Earthquake goes for the goes for the kick. Um, I feel like an Ice Beam or a Blizzard coming our way, though. And there we go. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, wow. We've got three. He's got two. That's not a position I want to be in right now. All right, Agron, you're up, buddy. Um, so I'm feeling a Heavy Slam for the first bit. Um... Hopefully you can get him down a good notch. You are pretty slow, so please don't get one bang with like an earthquake. That would really suck. Don't do that, Agron. Please, I beg of Z to not get that done. Come on, Agron. Oh, we are in the red zone. I don't like being in the red zone. Oh no, no, no. I probably should have gone to Lapras. That was stupid. We're in the red zone. We're in the red zone. Oh my god. Okay, let's use. Um, Super Crunch, I should have sent out, oh, Lapras Fudge, me on a stick, alright, um, let's go Crunch, come on, come on, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, come on, the final battle for Alligator, show him who's the better water type of the regions, No, you needed to kill him, he's gonna go in with a Ice Beam, maybe if he hits me with an Ice Beam, oh, he hits me with the Surf, he's only got water and Ice moves, yes, buddy, yes, go in for that Crunch, Crunch him up like Squirtle bit Charmander in episode one of Pokemon Origins, which was really mean and I didn't like it, so get him back, please. Thank you. Yeah, buddy, that's my for Alligator. All right, let's go in here for a nice little Aqua Tail. Um, I, if we hit the Aqua Tail, we'll finish it. Look at him. He's like, for Alligator right now, is like Mo Mobzilla. He's just climbed the tower and he's ready to go in for the Aqua Tail. With 20 HP, he's taking out Charizard. Is he gonna do it? No, oh fudge. No, 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 no. Okay, Lapras, buddy, mate, Lapras, you need to step your game up like 500% here. Um, Lapras, buddy, uses. Oh my god. That 100, that 100 pump misses. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lapras, 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 buddy, Lapras, come on, we met you at. Oh, he hits me with a flamethrower, knocks me off. Show him, show him. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Yes! Lapras, dude. Oh, my favorite. You are my Lapras. I loved you. Yes, he jumped off the mountain. Goodbye, Blade. See ya. This is my mountain now, boys. <laughs> with Minecraft name on the top. So, guys, I am now the champ. Oh, not the champion. I am now red, guys. Oh, look, I'm wearing a red sweater. I even brought my matching clothes. So, if you guys want to try and take this title from me, what we're going to be doing this weekend, guys, or next weekend, or a weekend where 
I will not be in Canada because, guys, I leave for Canada in like four days. This Pokeball is uneven. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave in Canada in five days. So in between now and then, I'm going to be uh, doing a live stream or maybe just hopping on the server. And you guys can try to take the title from me and beat me. If you guys beat me, you get to stay as red and you have to take everyone else on. And it's just a nice continuing thing. But uh, let's run down the mountain here. Um, pretty much it's going to be a TP up and down. Oh, hey, retarders. Um, so let's run down here without dying because that would be embarrassing. So we don't have a set, pro, um, set prize right now at the moment. Uh, pretty much uh, this town in general, the Mount Silver Town, will be open up uh, real soon. Um, that's going to be a teleport to the top. We're not going to have to go through that thing like a victory road. Um, but uh, this is the town. It's nice, cool. There'll be a Donator Warps, a, a healing station, which you can use to heal your Pokemon. However, if you're a Donator like me, you can Pokey Heal. And uh, there's the Donator Warps, not hooked in exactly yet. And this is your main entry, which is the Chopper, um, which is Painted Penguin Iowas. And uh, it'll take you there. Vertigo Pad, it'll take you right to it. And uh, the, the most important thing, I guess I should say, is uh, the info glue, which is uh, nearly finished. It's got all the information that you'll see about the red and how it's going to work. And then in here, the red hall of fame. I am the first red, and then it will go subsequent, second, third, fourth, fifth. We'll have actual um, reds who are... Uh, yeah, that's the current red. That'll be swapping a little. There'll be stuff dedicated to managing red. And making sure it's all good and dandy. But you have to have beaten the Elite Four to even challenge it, guys. So make sure you do that first. But anyways, guys, I think we're going to wrap the episode up right there. I hope you guys did enjoy this little bonus episode of Second Region Pokeballs. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like below. That would be awesome. And if you do enjoy my Pixel 1 series, make sure to subscribe as well. Because the Kanto Region will be here soon. And there will be a nice, cool series on that. Don't you guys forget. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next episode.